I bet you didn't expect another Saw video. I have ranked all of the Saw movies on my channel and on CZ's World's channel, I have shared my top five favorite traps. So you got a little bit of a spoiler for this video if you saw his video. But today we're going to be ranking every single Saw trap. And that is to celebrate Spiral now being out on digital, Blu-ray, and 4K today. And I just wanna thank Lionsgate for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited. <laughs> I got so excited when I read the email that they were interested in working with me to tell you how to get your very own copy of Spiral, of course, starring Chris Rock, Samuel L. Jackson, Marisol Nichols, and Max Minghella. Sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. <laughs> and of course, directed by the famous Saw director, Darren Lynn Boosman. And yes, I will be including all of the traps in Spiral in this video as well. So make sure to check the description box down below to see where you can purchase your own copy of Spiral. Okay, so we are going to be doing six tiers this time. That is because we have 66 traps. I do wanna preface this by saying I did not include every single technical trap in this, and you'll see kind of what's missing throughout if you're a huge fan of the franchise, but I did get most of them, and we do indeed have 66 traps to categorize. So for the first tier, that's why we had to add another tier because there's just, too many, so we gotta have more categories. This top tier, top tier traps are the best traps, and that is going to be, let's play a game. These are going to be the traps that are believable, are survivable, and the ones that are effective both emotionally and physically. Next category, we have kill me now. I'm not even gonna attempt it. I'm not gonna try to do this at all. Just might as well save some time and just kill me off now. Third category is murder. It's just murder, not survivable at all. Just implausible, basically, Jigsaw just murders them, no matter what Jigsaw we're talking about. Um, it's just murder. Next up, we have lazy but effective. I'll give it a pass, uh, but Jigsaw, you can definitely do better. This category, we are going to be calling it I Would Survive. The ones that I genuinely believe are so survivable that even I would survive. And then the last category, we have just straight up Kevin McAllister. It's just Kevin McAllister status from Home Alone. If you've seen those movies, sorry if you don't get that reference, um, but I think everyone's seen Home Alone by now. Basically just something that Kevin would do in the Home Alone movies. That's just goofy and silly and what are you doing? So I'm gonna try to work through all of the traps in order, but some of them might be jumbled around, so just forgive me that it's not completely organized. It took me hours to make all of these little pictures for every single trap. Also, spoilers for Saw, uh, Spiral, all the movies throughout, most likely, because I'm showing you every single trap in the movies. So yeah, just if you haven't seen it yet, I assume you have because you clicked on this video. But anyway, let's get started with Trap number one, don't mind my cat, the bathroom trap. Now, a lot of these traps are multiple people or they rely on others to complete, um, or it's a test of someone instead of a trap itself. And I did include the tests uh, in this video, not just the traps because, I don't know, it's just perspective. So who am I in the bathroom trap and how am, am I gonna rank it? <laughs> now, to be honest, I would not survive the bathroom trap no matter who I was. Uh, so definitely not going in that category but I think I'm gonna put it in let's play a game. It's one of my favorite traps of all time. It's a large trap, obviously. It's like the duration of the entire movie pretty much, but it is probably the most iconic, one of the most iconic traps in the franchise. So I do wanna put it in let's play a game because I feel like emotionally it is effective as well as the twists in the end, you know, with John Kramer in the middle of the room and everything like that. So that's going in top tier. Next up, we have the razor wire maze. Now, I don't know that I would survive this, but I don't think I would panic like the man in this trap, so it's a little bit of a weird one, but I like the overall concept. I feel like the concept's really good. I'll put it in lazy but effective. The flammable jelly. Um, not sure if you could even survive this. I'm gonna put this in the murder category because how in the world is he supposed to know which numbers make the combination? And by the time he does find out, obviously the flammable jelly, I mean, he has like a small candle. Maybe it's not murder. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tricky one. Reverse bear trap. I'm not going to lie to you. This, my opinion for this one is a little bit controversial and I dis, 
like this trap. I've never liked this trap because specifically the fact that Amanda survives is arbitrary to me because it is the only trap in the Saw universe, trap, not test, where you have to hurt someone else instead of yourself. Everyone else has to like dig in their eyeballs, pull their teeth out, chop off an arm kind of thing. She just has to dig in the stomach of a stranger or someone else in the room to get a key. Like that's not necessarily hurting herself, you know? And I do believe Amanda's selfish enough to not even care about that. I mean, obviously she went on to become an apprentice. So obviously empathy kind of low. So this one is definitely low tier to me. And I know that's very controversial. It's an iconic trap. It's utilized the most in the whole franchise. I don't think it deserves that. Um, I'm going to put it in, I would survive because it is overly survivable. You know what I mean? Like, of course she would survive. She doesn't actually have to hurt herself in anything. <laughs> the drill chair. Uh, this again relies on others, so it would not be in the perspective of him. Um, interesting concept. I will put it in lazy but effective. Next is the quadruple shotgun in the hallway. Um, yeah, this is obviously Kevin McAllister. <laughs> Any of the traps that have to do with like trapping the cops or like stopping the cops from going into their lairs, you know, is Kevin McAllister status to me. This is like advanced Kevin from Home Alone. And then we have Zepp Hindle's test, which of course is very layered. It has to do with the wife and child of Dr. Gordon and everything like that. And then of course, if Dr. Gordon does not succeed in his task, he must then kill his wife and child. So very, very emotional. Um, obviously I'm gonna put it in no, it's not murder. Zepp Hindle isn't necessarily, he's the murderer, but yeah, not murder. I'm gonna put it in kill me now because I don't think I would have the ability to be under the pressure of this test and I wouldn't complete it, so yeah. Next up, we have the death mask. This is a really cool mask, cool concept. Very similar, I'd say. Not really to the reverse bear trap, but you know, it's another head thing that's like attached to their head that would kill them. Uh, kill me now. Not digging out my eyeball. I'm not going in there to get a key out. It's not happening. Electrified staircase, again, has to do with stopping the cops from entering an area. Kevin McAllister, because, the, I mean, can you not just picture old Macaulay Culkin doing this. Nerve gas house. This one, obviously famous one. And the gas house has many traps, which we will get into all of those. But in general, the nerve gas house, what would that be under? I think I'm gonna put it under murder because a lot of the traps for that they have to try to do to in order to get the antidote are actually nearly impossible. Some of them aren't, but some of them are impossible. So of course it's just going to be murder in the end. Like some people have have to die in order for them to survive the nerve gas house or for any of them to survive. Magnum eye hole. This one I would say is murder, um, but I'm just gonna put it in lazy but effective, I think, because that's pretty self-explanatory. The furnace. This one is rough. Obviously, there's an antidote in the back of the furnace that he must go in to try to get, and then, of course, it turns on and locks and everything like that. That's what I mean, but some of these traps just seem impossible to where they are actually just murder. So that's where it's gonna go, murder, because it just seems inevitable that he would end up dying. <laughs> Needle pit. This is a little bit different, obviously survivable. I mean, granted, you don't want to be stabbed with a million needles, but you could definitely survive that. And I think I would survive that, honestly. I'm going to put that in that category because it had a he not dropped it, he would have survived. So I, you know, it's not on Amanda for that one. Razor box. Uh, this is just a dumb situation, obviously. I like to, a lot of people look at this trap and they're like, why would she even do that? Why would she put her hands in the boxes if she, and why would she do the other one too, you know? But I put it, I blame it on the fact that she has a nerve gas attacking her nervous system at this point in time and she's a little bit delirious so I don't find her to be that idiotic in this situation because how, do, how can you blame her? She sees the antidote, she's miserable, she tries to get it. That being said, this is, is it murder? I think you'd bleed out so I'm gonna say murder. Even if she 
passed the test and like ripped her hands out, it still would like chop her hands off. And given the state of the house, I think it's just murder. Cause I don't think she could stop the bleeding anytime soon. <laughs> Eric Matthews test, I would 100% survive that. I feel like, I mean, granted he's a father, he's frustrated, he's impatient, but I feel like I personally would be patient enough <laughs> to be able to pass this test of just talking to John Kramer for two hours. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I'm going to say I'll survive. The classroom. This one, uh, kill me now. I'm going to say that I'm not ripping my jaw out. Uh, I don't know why he even tries to be honest, because once I don't know how he didn't recognize the fact that his whole jaw was being pierced and would be ripped off had he completed the task and again would probably bleed out a lot that's an issue i have with a lot of these traps is you would die if you survived like you would bleed out but yeah the classroom trap not doing it not even gonna try i'll just wait for the bomb to go off the angel trap this is one of my least favorite traps because it's not survivable i like the concept of it if it was actually beatable and she does actually get the key and it won't unlock so yeah obviously that is blatant basic murder. The shotgun collar, um, this obviously will go off if John Kramer dies. It's linked to his heart rate. So this is unpredictable. I can't put it in I would survive because who knows. Uh, I'm gonna put it in kill me now because that kind of pressure, regardless if I was like a really good doctor, I don't think I would even be able to attempt that and would probably die anyways uh, because he's pretty seriously along in his cancer. So <laughs> the freezer room, this is where we're going to be getting into Jeff's trial. And this one is obviously from the perception um, of Jeff, not the woman, because she obviously is relying on Jeff in order to survive. So for this, I would say I would survive that even though it's not life or death for Jeff, but I would pass that test because he already rips his cheek off anyway. So like, why doesn't he just do that automatically? I mean, I know there's like emotional aspects here. She was the only witness to his son's death, um, but I still think I would just get it over with, rip it off like a Band-Aid kind of situation. Pig vat, disgusting. Uh, a lot of people think about this one when they think of Saw 3, it is gross. This one is brutal and I am going to put it in let's play a game because it's so hard to watch as someone who is a very sentimental person myself having to burn the, the stuffed animals of my deceased child would kill me i would also burn the toys and everything to save the judge however that's why it's in this category because it would be so hard so i really like this setup and think it's really effective the rack this one's also brutal, miserable to look at. This one seems unsurvivable to me, so I don't wanna say that I would survive, um, but I don't know what category to put this in. I'm gonna put it in murder. It is attempted murder, I'll tell you that. And it seems like almost someone has to die in order for this task to be completed. So I'm gonna put it in murder. Jeff's final test is of course to not kill John Kramer because his wife is connected to his heart rate, uh, which he fails and still she dies and everyone dies. Literally everyone dies. <laughs> um, I think I will, I wanna put this in murder so bad, but I'm already running out of space and that's gonna be really hard. <laughs> um, let's play a game. I'll put it in let's play a game it's effective because obviously his frustration of everything going on it would make sense that he would struggle in not killing john kramer all right now we're moving on to the mausoleum this is my least favorite trap in the entire saw franchise i just don't think it's it makes any sense, especially with the end of the trap. So obviously I would survive. You already rip your mouth open at the end of the trap. Why don't you just do that initially? I know it hurts. I know it hurts, but it's minimal compared to what everyone else has to suffer. All you have to do is speak, that's all. And I feel like also you can mumble through the threads. I don't know, maybe it's just me being technical with the trap, but uh, I would definitely survive. The scalping seat, this is very layered. We have Detective Rig uh, in this and this girl, they both have their own tests going on. So I'm not sure who's 
perspective I would be in this situation. Again, I don't know, can you die from being scalped? I know that's a stupid question, but no one really answered it when I asked that originally. Oh my God, what the, did you see that? The thing was just moving by itself. But this is one of my favorite traps of all time, so I am going to put it in Let's Play a Game. You already knew that that was one of my favorite traps. I think it's so creative and interesting, and I like the layeredness of this trap. Uh, the bedroom have to gouge out his own eyes or die. Um, uh, to kill me now. That's not happening. Anything that I have to do with my eyes or teeth or anything like that, um, probably not going to be able to achieve. So no, thank you. Cupid's arrows. This one is my favorite trap of all time in Saw. So obviously that's going to be going in top tier. Let's play a game. This is like the ultimate saw game in my opinion because it's emotional it's complicated it's complex it's powerful i just love everything about cupid's arrows <laughs> the ice block uh this seems miserable absolutely again this one's a very layered situation we have detective hoffman over here on the side not really involved in the trap but obviously the creator of the trap and he's just chilling over there and with detective matthews it's like he's he's got nothing going on he's doing nothing so although i like this trap i kind of want to put it in kevin McAllister only because it relies on someone on rig not going through the door which just seems like a trap uh, Kevin McAllister, McAllister would do. So that's why it's going in that category. <laughs> the knife chair. This one is, I think, technically Jigsaw or John Kramer's first trap that he created. This one's a pretty good trap, but I do think I would survive. Is that bad to say? Again, I feel like I said with the eyeballs, eyeballs, teeth, not doing it. Anything within my body, I'm not going to do it. But if I had to like cut my face open, I feel like I could do that. You just go real fast. I know you have to put a lot of pressure behind it. Could you like turn your head? I don't know. Maybe I would survive, maybe not, but it seems brutal. I'm, I'm gonna say I would, I don't know. <laughs> Spine cutters, this is the situation with Art Blank and uh, again, the layer trap with uh, Detective Matthews and Hoffman in the room. I'll put it in lazy but effective though. There's another trap coming up that has to do with slicing the spine and it just seems so horrific but still i'm gonna put it in lazy but effective finally we have hoffman's test this actually comes into play i think in saw five if i'm not mistaken um so but we're including it in this category of saw four so he obviously has the reverse bear trap this is number two that it's used in um and he does survive it and i'm gonna put it in lazy but effective because again utilizing the bear trap i get it i get why jill tuck would use it on hoffman but I do think it's kind of lazy to reuse another trap. All right, now we have the pendulum. This is actually a pretty good trap in my opinion, uh, pretty effective. So I'm going to say kill me now because I don't, that just seems like such a slow way to die. He dies kind of fast in the movie, but I don't know why I feel like it would kill you a lot slower than that, especially if it's just like barely being dropped. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, the water cube uh, survives, but I don't think I would have thought of the pen trick to breathe. So don't think I would have survived that, to be honest. I think I'm gonna put it in murder. I think that was Hoffman's whole intent with that trap anyway was murder. Okay, now we have the fatal five situation first being the necktie trap okay i'm gonna be a little bit cocky here and say that i would survive the fatal five not with every single trap in there but i feel like i i don't know is it naive to say that i would have thought about the keys i would have at least tried you know what i mean you're like under a lot of pressure and you don't really know right but i'm gonna say i would survive because what the odds are in my favor, even if I didn't think of the key thing, I would probably survive just given that there's four other people. Ceiling jars, also pretty confident I would survive that. Almost a lighthearted trap, I don't know. It's pretty simple, straightforward. It's not my favorite trap of all time. I kind of wish I put it in lazy but effective, but I would survive it, so I'm gonna keep it there. Electric bathtub, no, not happening. Uh, kill me now. I'm not even gonna volunteer for that. Same situation with 10 pints of sacrifice. Again, this is when they realize that every room was survivable for all of them to make it through if they just work together as a team instead of murdering each other. So with 10 pints of sacrifice, obviously they gotta lose a lot of blood. So that's gonna be a kill me now. Also, you'd bleed out anyway. So it's 
just, I mean, I don't want to say it's murder because they did it to themselves. It's not technically murder on Jigsaw's part. It's murder because they did not cooperate and do the traps how they were supposed to be done. The glass coffin again. Murder. <laughs> Although iconic, I do love this trap a lot, but it is it is murder, unfortunately, <laughs> sorry to say. Pound of flesh. This is one of my favorite traps, and I think it's so genius. I love the two people in the trap. I think it makes so much sense. So obviously this is going in, let's play a game. Next up, we have oxygen crusher, two men. When they breathe in, it crushes their uh, rib cage, so they have to hold their breath. One of them has to die. Uh, I have anxiety and I'm going Going to panic so kill me now I'm already running out of space and we have so many more to go how am I gonna do fit all of these in oh my goodness I should have thought about this that this tier list situation would not hold 66 we're just gonna go off it a little bit hopefully that's still enough room I don't know Next is the gallows. Um, again, I'm guessing I would be in the position of the tester with like the thing, oh, sorry, I hit the mic, uh, with the things, and then obviously he has to pick one and let one go. Uh, lazy but effective situation. I don't feel like it's that difficult, and it, I feel neither here nor there about this trap. It's just kind of lazy to me. The steam maze, again, interesting concept they hadn't really worked with steam but i don't think it's that intimidating especially as a viewer of the movie i don't think it adds that much like that high of stakes in my opinion and now we're gonna start getting into the saw movies that have the weaker traps in my opinion so lazy but effective going in there as well however the shotgun carousel i genuinely like a lot of people corrected me because i said the horsepower trap has the most people involved in a single trap this one technically is however relies on just the one person outside of the trap so i was thinking more of the person integrated into the trap, if that makes sense, which would make the horsepower trap the most complex, most people involved. That people on the carousel have no control over their survival at all. Well, I guess everyone's kind of relying on Chester Bennington, but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put shotgun carousel in Let's Play a Game because it is a top tier trap, in my opinion. It's a test, technically. However, I do think it's really effective. It has a lot of emotional stakes to it, and it's very intense to watch, so definitely top tier. The Acid Room. Um, I do like the concept. However, the execution is a little bit weak, in my opinion. And However, the concept is cool, and the acid spikes coming in and pumping them full of acid is pretty disturbing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it in lazy but effective. I'm just not sold on this entire situation, the tests uh, involved and things like that. Uh, it's fine, I, the concept's cool, but execution-wise it's just not the best. Public execution, mm, this one's questionable because uh, of the situation. I'm going to put this in I Would Survive. Actually, hmm, I'm gonna put it in Kevin McAllister. <laughs> this is a low tier uh, situation for me because how did no one, I mean, I know they address the fact that people are calling the cops and it's so public and everything like that, but like how did no one figure out a way to stop it? Like everyone's just like watching it. <laughs> now the pain train, as we know, is not a real trap, right? It doesn't happen in reality, but I wanted to include it because I think it's an interesting one and a cool concept. However, obviously we know that this would just fall into murder because it's not really a trap. It's just a dream that uh, Jill Tuck has about Hoffman killing her. Now we have the famous horsepower trap with these, I think, how many people are involved? Five? <laughs> this one I'm going to say kill me now. Oh my god, it doesn't even show when I put it outside of it. It doesn't show. Okay, I definitely lost my whole progress. This right here is just one image, so now I cannot rearrange it. I don't know what happened, but anyway, we're just gonna keep moving on, trucking along. Sometimes this site is a little finicky. I think we left off on the lawnmower trap. Uh, not a huge fan of this one, to be honest. So this one is going in lazy but effective to me. The suspended cage, uh, this is an easy survivable situation. You just have to swing far enough, I feel, and you'll survive, so definitely putting that in all survive. The silence circle, oh my gosh, this concept's actually really interesting to me. However, when you work with like measuring decibels and things like that, it can be a little bit tricky. So if you have a little suspension of disbelief that the technology would work like that, maybe it would, I don't know. 
I'm going to put it in top tier because I actually think the concept's cool that the key is attached to a fish hook inside of her stomach and he has to like rip it out. However, don't think you'd survive that. I feel like you'd have to go into surgery almost immediately in order to survive because you're ripping through her esophagus. Uh, the impalement wheel, again, this is relying on someone else, so she doesn't really have to do anything, but definitely a horrific experience and just a horrible way to die. I wanna say that I would survive this one. I feel like I would pass that test. I don't know, again, naive, maybe. I feel like I could take some spikes to the sides, you know, it's not that bad. The hangman's noose, I'm not a huge fan of this one, to be honest. I mean, the tension was there. It was definitely tense, a tense buildup, but you know what else has a tense buildup is Home Alone. So we're gonna put that in Kevin McAllister. <laughs> Wisdom teeth combo. So the combination to the door is written or etched into his teeth. Uh, no thank you. If you know me at all, I have a dental phobia. So this is not happening. Not gonna do that. So that's obviously going in Kill Me Now, which I can't put in here anymore, but uh, let's see. I'll just overlap it with some of these <laughs> back here. You'll, you'll know what's on underneath it. We've already been through it. The brazen bull. Uh, having to spike through your pectoral muscles and hold your weight all on your pectoral muscles. People do this for fun, so I wouldn't do it, granted, but they do do it, so maybe I would survive it if I like had to do it. I, I don't know if I even could, but actually, no. I'm gonna put it as the last spot in lazy but effective because, okay, you just gotta hang by your pecs. Like, it's not that bad. Like, we've seen more complicated and like more disturbing stuff. I feel like that's just a little bit like meh. We have the reverse bear trap yet again. So obviously this is going in lazy but effective. It's, it's lazy, I get it. I'm glad this is like the last time we get to see the reverse bear trap because it's just too much at some point in time. They used it because it's a really good idea, but to continuously use it in three different movies, I think is a little bit old. So definitely in lazy but effective. I mean, it's effective, like I said, it's a good trap. Very good, highly uh, recognizable and iconic. <laughs> All right, now we're on to Jigsaw. We have the bucket room. This is very familiar to me, <laughs> very similar to the Fatal Five situation, just on with buckets on their head instead of like razor wire, you know, cutting their head off. So I wanna put this in lazy but effective. It's not my favorite. Chang hangers uh, with the three different syringes and obviously all are injected into the girl. Um, mm, I don't know, I feel like Jigsaw has some of the least effective traps in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna put that one in Kevin McAllister. No real reason why, I just feel like it. Leg wires, oh this one's a Kevin McAllister one if I ever saw it. <laughs> Again, I feel like you'd just bleed out if your leg was chopped into three pieces, like the grain silo. This one, I don't know why, I just have a feeling I would survive it. So that's where I'm gonna put it. I feel like you could avoid the weapons falling in there. Can you just like dig your way down a little bit, hold your breath like it was water? I don't know, maybe again, naive. I don't really know, but I think I would survive it. I don't know. The cycle trap. This one is so goofy to me. It reminds me, I don't know where this memory is coming from. Like those motorcycles spinning in this giant wheel. There's like two of them in there. I don't know where that's from. Nickelodeon maybe from like the nineties. I have no idea, but it reminds me of that. Um, so it's a little bit goofy to me. Um, part of me wants to put it in murder but I'm not going to. I'm gonna put it in Kevin McAllister. And then of course we have the shotgun keys. I think I would fi have figured out that situation and realized that the keys were like in the shotgun and not, oh, I have to kill this person. There's so many just backed up back here in this. And then finally from Jigsaw, we have the laser collar. This one, again, probably my least favorite, one of my least favorite situations. Uh, I think it's a little bit lazy. So that's what I'm gonna put it in. Lazy but effective because yeah, they're lasers. It's kind of cool. But as a viewer, I just feel like, again, the stakes aren't that high. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Now we're moving on to Spiral, all the traps in Spiral, which I'm excited to fully talk about because I didn't really give like a full on review for this movie. So first we have the subway trap with the tongue and he must rip his tongue out in order to survive before the subway car hits him. This is a kill me now situation, but because I like this trap a lot, I'm going to, okay, come on. 
I'm going to put it in let's play a game because I do think this one's actually really cool and effective. It's a little silly on the surface because it's like, oh, his tongue is being hung up. How would that work? But like, you just have to understand, like get that, that it just works. Like you just have to believe that it would work. And I think it's one of the best traps in Spiral personally. Next up, we have the finger trap, which is actually my favorite trap in Spiral. And did you know you can actually buy these this contraption for a thousand dollars it could be yours you could recreate a trap from spiral please don't do that i thought this one was really cool um and so unique because at this point there's been at least like 70 different traps so to come up with new ones constantly is just so difficult i imagine so this one is going in let's play a game it's just so cool again a little goofy with it just being like a singular body part but i just feel like that would not be pleasant, but still a really effective trap and something that I think we hadn't thought about before. Then we get to the hot wax trap. This one is probably my least favorite trap in Spiral. So this one I'm going to put in murder because I don't understand this trap to the point where it's like, all right, now just sever your spine and then you will stop the hot wax from drowning you. Um, excuse me, just sever this, just do that. Just like break my spine. No, thank you. Like that's murder. Like she could die. They say, oh, you'll be paralyzed for life, but like you could die from that. So a little bit confusing, but uh, yeah, this is basically murder. Next we have gl the glass grinder trap where glass is being put in this mechanism that just like throws it out into the room. Interesting concept, I would say, um, but I'm going to be putting it in lazy but effective. The last trap that we're going to be ranking is Marcus Banks, who isn't really personally involved in the trap, but he's kind of like a marionette situation. This one is hard to watch. Uh, I think I would survive it, I don't know, but that's what I'm gonna put it in and I would survive it. I just feel like I would figure it out and I don't know. Well, there you have it. There is all of the saw traps ranked. This is by far the longest tier list video and the biggest tier list video. I don't think I'll ever rank anything with as many things going on because even when I do the Final Destination movies, I feel like the deaths in that are don't even come close to how many traps are in saw. Like we've had at least 70. So like, whew, my voice is tired. I need to end this video. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite and least favorite saw traps are. What are the ones that you think are most effective? Do you agree with any of my rankings? Uh, let me know your opinions down below and make sure you check out the description also to purchase your own copy of Spiral, which is now out on digital, Blu-ray and 4K. I'm very excited. <laughs> let me know what other tier lists you'd like to see from me and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.